Good morning, y'all. Today, I want to talk to y'all before I go into work about belief. The word is to believe. So a belief is more than just a concept that comes into your head, but it reflects in your behavior. Your belief system has a huge impact on your everyday life from the way you react to people to even the smallest decision you make, like which direction you're going to turn or how you're going to, you know, like anything, like how you wake up in the morning. It's all about what you believe. Your belief can save you and it can kill you. Any wise person would question and examine their beliefs. For example, you know, some people say they don't believe God will let people go to hell. And we see how that belief alters their life. The little things, the decisions that they make. The only true guide on what is right and wrong is the Bible. So, I'm going to run through a few uh, scriptures in my head. But Proverbs uh, 11.6 talk about how those who believe that God exists, he will bless them. In John 3.16, we know... For God to love the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Right. In Mark chapter 9, verse 23, it says, and Jesus said to them, all things are possible for those who believe. In Hebrew, again, chapter 11, verse 1 now, it says, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. And um, in Luke chapter 8, verse 50, it says, But Jesus, on hearing this, answered him, Do not fear, only believe that she is well. And if we read Psalms chapter 23, verse 4 through 6, it says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because he believed. You are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare. He, this is his belief, y'all. He's telling God, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Imagine how he lived if he believed that goodness and mercy will follow him as long as he alive. He said, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David was something else. <laughs> and in Matthew chapter 9, verse 28, it says, when he entered the house, the blind man came to him. And Jesus said to them, do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, yes, Lord. Many times what we believe, like when we, many times we believe stuff, it is in harmony with what we want to believe. I, I want to believe that this man can heal me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you believe, it will become your reality. Belief creates vision and strength of will and resilience. Do you believe you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you? I know for a fact I do. And time after time, that belief shows itself true. I believe in the promises of God. When it says, he will never leave me or forsake me. When he says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. When it says, he so loved me that he died on the cross. I believe if when the Bible says, walk in my ways and whatever you do shall prosper. I believe that. <laughs> your beliefs should never be based on your own feelings. I want y'all to read Numbers. Numbers is a great book, but chapter 12, verse 1 through 11. When people close to you start to undermine you and that starts to influence other people, it's going to be nine times out of ten. Is because people who are close to you, they have like inside stuff and a perspective of you. And they, because of that, they must know something, right? <laughs> Pray right now. God, connect me to people who matter to my purpose. I want y'all to read Numbers chapter 16, verse 1 through 5. And in that, you had just seen what happened to Miriam. And the next day, you know they enter rebellion again. 
in Numbers chapter 16, verse 28 through 35. Read that. Who you stand close to attracts behaviors and it will expose what you really believe in. Read Numbers 16, chapter 41 through, no, chapter 16, uh, verse 41. God told Moses and telling us to get away from these people um, because God is going to wipe them out. What's important? And it shows what you believe and what you don't believe. You have to create boundaries between the dead and the living so the plague can stop. And you can use that as a metaphor for anything in life. They died because of their false belief instead of standing by the word of God. Like I said, believe in the word of Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. It's a mess out here, y'all. I'm not saying <clears throat> there is a living enemy as well. So I'm not saying that like bad things happen to you because of, you know, your, le your beliefs are corrupt. But I'm saying when you go through that bad thing, how are you handling it? Are you feeding, are you give? are you feeding fuel to the fire? Are you surrendering to God? It's time that in 2024, I want us to really stop, sit and think about the things that we believe in why we believe in it and i want our belief to positive i want our beliefs to positively impact our life i pray for you that what you believe i pray that the the the, the dead things that you believe in i pray that god will, will rebuke you on it i pray that god will set you free from it and then i pray that god will help you um acquire positive beliefs in jesus name you understand? I pray that by watching this video, I was able to inspire you to action. I pray that you were able to involve a mentality that will lead you to success, because that's what it is. But most importantly, I pray that you will grow in relation with God. Bye, y'all.